So one thing that really gets me is this term progressive, and people are using it now to mean inclusive, tolerant, all this type of nonsense. Um, progressives, people forget that the Nazis were progressives. So is Benito Mussolini. So is uh, the so were the Bolsheviks. So are the Maoists, and uh, so was the Committee of Public Safety and the French Revolution, the First French Republic. Progressives, the First French Republic after the French Revolution, the Bolsheviks, Simon Bolivar. Um, now, a lot of people who aren't from South America or who are uneducated in South America don't really know much about Simon Bolivar. He was a progressivist. Um... The Spanish Republic, before it got crushed by the rebels, was um, was uh, definitely progressive. Benito Juarez and the Constitution that he formed uh, was progressive, as well as the man following in his footsteps, Plutarco Calles, uh, Fascist Party of Italy, the National Socialist German Workers' Party. Um which took power uh, in Germany, uh, was progressive. Um, not only Imperial Japan, but the, uh, the Japanese emperor that wiped out the samurai. He was a progressivist. Uh, England's enlightenment of Ireland and its other colonies to dispel folk tales, culture, religion, and... Um, you know, properly anglicize them so that they wouldn't have so many kids and that their barbaric culture would be wiped away and could be restored with proper, true British culture. Uh, the Khmer Rouge under Cambodia were progressivists. China's great leap forward. China's takeover of Tibet, you know, dispelling all that uh, stupid superstition of Tibetan Buddhism being ruled by a Dalai Lama and uh, many monasteries, you know, totally erase the culture and destroy the spirit, people's spirituality because spe apparently spirituality is hocus pocus. Uh, the USSR's great purge, the Holodomor. As Stalin said, its main purpose was to break their belief in God. The Cultural Revolution of China, the Tiananmen Square Massacre. Uh, Bulgaria went through this, and so did Romania under Ceausescu. Uh, North Korea, very progressivist, to wipe out all religion and replace it with science. Cuba, uh, force everybody to be educated. Now, they would be forcefully indoctrinated into communism, and their freedoms would be stripped away. But hey, they educated people, they... they Made the they had, they brought electricity to everywhere and running water so progressive right same thing with Tibet yeah they destroyed the people's culture and religion and um, forced communism and Han, Chinese Han rule on them but you know what they forced everybody to get an education and they brought in running water so uh, Ethiopia under the Magistu government. Uh, the U.S. progressive programs in the South, you know, like sterilizing the mentally ill and the morally unfit, abortion, euthanasia. Kinsey, Alfred Kinsey, isn't that great? Uh, with his, uh, pedo his encouragement of pedophilia and paying men to have sex with children to report it. And the homogenization of any country. Anytime these progressives take power and want to uh, enlighten the people... They homogenize a country, which means they pick one language and they just, you know, they get rid of these superstitions of the of the natives. This happened plenty of times in South America, where whole cultures were wiped out, whole religions were forgotten, which um, people say, oh, well, good riddance to that, but that's of great sociological importance. We've lost so much information because of progress, because who cares about you know, stupid bones or tombs or 
you know, or these old ruins, you know, we can build factories there. Um, so, yeah, the progressivists have been the least tolerant people, and it's caused the most genocide, and they've not been tolerant of other cultures or religion at all. Peace to you. Oh, yeah, this is a bit of the French Revolution. There's Robespierre, there's the Jacobins, there's uh, Marat, there's Marat again, and then there's uh, Saint-Just. These three men were assholes.